We begin tonight with that breaking news. North Korea's latest efforts at launching a missile test, reportedly falling short, exploding after liftoff. The embarrassing setback after that country had its military muscle on full display in Pyongyang, showing off what may be new missiles and sending a message to President Donald Trump. The unpredictable leader Kim Jong-un celebrating the 105th birthday of his grandfather, Kim Il-sung, the country's founder. This as our chief global affairs correspondent Martha here? Raditz got rare access to a key South Korean airbase, shedding new light on the issues faced in this rising conflict. And Vice President Mike Pence arriving in the region later tonight. ABC's Martha Raditz leading us off. The massive military parade, complete with flybys, tanks, and marching soldiers, comes as tensions with the U.S. are simmering. At the parade today, North Korea responding to statements like these from President Donald Trump. North Korea is a problem. The problem will be taken care of. With a new warning, North Korea's second most senior official saying Donald Trump is creating a war situation and North Korea is prepared for all-out war, including a nuclear attack. So far, the nuclear tests some analysts anticipated to coincide with the celebration have not happened. But U.S. officials confirmed tonight that hours after that parade, North Korea did attempt to launch a ballistic missile, but it failed, exploding immediately after launch. Yet the trouble is not over. Some of the reclusive nation's newest weapons were on display in that parade, canisters large enough to hold what may be a new type of intercontinental ballistic missile and for the first time up close submarine launched missiles the north koreans are trying to develop missiles that will reach the u.s and already have weapons that could threaten japan and south korea where more than 80,000 u.s forces are based so a hardened bunker this is serious stuff yes ma'am this is your third set of blast doors here. Just a few dozen miles from the DMZ, the most militarized border in the world, we had a rare visit deep inside the U.S.'s Osan Air Base, one of the first lines of defense against North Korea. Here, U.S. fighter jets take off to patrol the skies above, and we saw up close Patriot batteries, a missile defense system guarding against an attack from North Korea. Basically what a Patriot does is it determines an inbound threat missile we fire a Patriot missile at it, and it's a bullet-on-bullet a -bullet scenario where the Patriot missile hits the, the threat missile and destroys it. One of the generals in charge of all U.S. forces in Korea tells me the situation is extremely tense. It's our preparedness that is our best deterrent. But we take this, his threats uh, and his developments very seriously. And Tom, even though the North Koreans have yet to conduct that sixth underground nuclear test, the general told me it could happen any time. Tom? Martha Raditz monitoring all those new developments for us tonight. Martha, thank you. For more on North Korea's failed missile launch, let's bring in retired Colonel Steve Ganyard. Steve, not the finale to those military celebrations the North Koreans were looking for. It wasn't, Tom. Uh, this launch, because it blew up right after the uh, missile lifted off, is going to make it very difficult for the intelligence analysts to figure out what kind of missile it is. Remember that President Trump, back in January, tweeted at the North Koreans, it won't happen with regard to their intent to create an ICBM, intercontinental ballistic missile. So tonight we have to wait and see. Was it an old missile that they were just testing for show, or was it the new missile that could directly uh, influence or target the United States? And all of this, of course, happening as Vice President Mike Pence is getting ready to land in South Korea. Steve, thanks so much. And much more in North Korea tomorrow on a special edition of This Week. Martha Raddatz anchoring from Seoul with an exclusive interview with President Trump's top national security advisor, H.R. McMaster.